Look, I stereotype people. I do it differently, though. I don't do it to race. That's too easy. I do it to music. I love music. I think music is the greatest art form in the world. Music dictates so much about your life, where you go at night, who your friends are, most importantly, how you dress. You can look at somebody and know what kind of music they like just by the way they're dressed, right? Country music. You know this person right now in your head, this stereotype. Cowboy boots, cowboy hat, plaid shirt, tight jeans. Even though you hate homosexuals, you got to show off the junk. <laughs> Country music guys hate gay dudes, yet every weekend you're riding a guy named John Deere. And Jim Beam is between your legs. <laughs> Got that southern accent. Southern accent, female, sexy. Southern accent, male, GED. <laughs> you have a singing fish hanging up somewhere in your house. <laughs> Drive a pickup truck, one bench. Fit your whole family on the bench. You fit so many people in a pickup truck, Mexicans are jealous of you. Jazz, classical, who listens to this? Older white people. Older white people that love eating sun chips, right? <laughs> Just eating sun chips all day, petting your golden retriever named Rex, yelling at your daughter named Madison, wondering what pair of Crocs to wear to the mall when you go shopping at Tommy Bahama. When you enjoy jazz or classical, when you're home with a nice glass of Cabernet, or you're in a very fancy hotel spending $2,300 for a German hooker to take a shit on your chest. Duh. <laughs> salsa, any salsa music fans here tonight? There's the Latinos. And chances are you've been stabbed at least once in your life. 80% of the time from a family member. 20% of the time from somebody dating a family member. And they love black Sharpie markers, love Sharpie markers, because the girls use them to put in their eyebrows. <laughs> And the guys put in their mustaches. <laughs> Ooh, mijo, I'm angry. Ooh, I'm surprised. <laughs> I'll tell you this. I love watching Latin women dance to salsa music. It's always this right here, right? One hand up here to feel the rhythm. One hand down here to protect your pregnant stomach. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. Pop music. If you like pop music, you're a 16 to 17 year old white girl. You live in the suburbs. You work at Abercrombie, American Eagle. You, you eat baby carrots all day because you do not want to get fat like your mom. You drive a Jeep Wrangler that your father bought in your super sweet 16, you spoiled bitch. And you lost your virginity on a 10th grade camping trip to the father of the children you babysit for. So, Y'all never heard of a show called Dateline? Seriously? <laughs> Dance, club, techno, dark-haired white guys, two hours in the gym. We get it in the medium Ed Hardy t-shirts, okay? You are a grown man with a bedazzled dragon on your t-shirt. <laughs> yeah. Are you clubbing or figure skating? What are you doing here tonight, Igor? Always got a fake tan, tweezed eyebrows, looking like Spock, Dragon Ball Z hair, three herpes sores all over your face. Sunglasses at night, why? Because you're so ugly, you need to cover a third of your face. R&B, if you like R&B, you're a 40, 50 year old black woman, hopeless romantic. You work at a bus depot or a post office, but nobody would ever know, because you're always on break, hi! Not my job. That's not my job. That's not my job. <laughs> designer clothes, you don't wear designer clothes. You dress in colors. Purple shoes, purple pants, purple jacket, purple shirt, purple nails, purple hat. You look like a Dick Tracy villain, oh my God. <laughs> you worship God every day by watching Oprah. And when you're not watching Oprah, you're watching courtroom shows because you're probably rooting for family members. Who's your dream boat? Denzel, Tyler Perry? You're gonna end up with Carl Winslow from Family Matters. <laughs> Potheads, Grateful Dead, Fish, Dave Matthews. First off, take a shower, okay? <laughs> Second off, you gotta be smoking something to enjoy a 58-minute guitar solo. Oh my God. Go to a Dave Matthews concert, 
Three hours long, two songs. What did I pay for? Two songs? Goth, emo, angry white kids. Angry white kids going through a bisexual phase. So emotional. Where do you spend your days? In the mall at Hot Topic. Where do you spend your nights? In a corner booth at Denny's, sitting there judging other people that are out enjoying their lives. How dare you? And Denny's, by the way, is where all vampires hang out. Half of Twilight was filmed inside of a Denny's. I don't know if you all know that. It's true. Now, rock and roll has taken many different turns throughout the years. When I was growing up, it was exciting. Glam rock, Guns N' Roses, Def Leppard, Poison, Motley Crue, sex, drugs, rock and roll, right? Bunch of trannies with switchblades and motorcycles. It was exciting. It was sex, drugs, and rock and roll. Now what is it? Alternative rock. Put on a hooded sweatshirt, get on a skateboard, go down to Starbucks, look up yoga classes on a MacBook. What the fuck happened to sex, drugs, and rock and roll? <laughs> Spending 45 minutes on your hair to make it look like you just woke up? <laughs> Wearing your girlfriend's skinny jeans? Get your clothes shopped under the Salvation Army? You have an STD, not from a girl, from the jeans you just bought at the Salvation Army, you cheap piece of shit. <laughs> Last but not least, hip-hop. If you like hip-hop, stare typically under the age of 25, blackmail. Six cell phones, a few for baby mamas, a few for collection agencies, and one that only goes off in movie theaters. <laughs> <We're> <laughs> Where do you get your clothes shop but none? Foot Locker, here's the ironic thing. Guys dress in clothes 10 times too big. Women, 10 times too small. If y'all just flip-flop, everything would fit. <laughs> Every other sense out of hip-hop, guys, you know what I'm saying? You ever listen to them? Yeah, going down to the club, know what I'm saying? Going to get my drink on, know what I'm saying? Going to meet some girls, know what I'm saying? No, I don't. What are you saying? <laughs> For the love of Ray J, what are you trying to tell me? How do you spend your teens and 20s? In the clubs, clocking ass. You do want to settle down one day with your dream girl. Who's that, an Asian girl with a big ass and good credit? It will never happen. <laughs> there are no Asian girls with big asses. If there were, Wesley Snipes would be married by now. <laughs> so what do you do? Just go to the club player, keep making it bounce. Make it bounce, make it bounce. Just like one of your checks. <laughs>